Ripley character. <laughs> well, I mean, I think also part of it is, you know, when you watch, we see so much melee, you see so much Marth. It's like, okay, well, I've seen. It feels like you've Zoe seen played all Marth forever. Here. Zoe, you don't come to our weeklies. I don't know what's confusing about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, sorry, I, I kind of got distracted. Uh, what, what did you say? I, I didn't mean to pop over there. Oh, I was just saying, and like one thing about Marth is that with all the, you know, all we we see melee so much, you, you think like you've seen it all that Marth can do because he's pretty very very similar in the two yeah. games. Yeah. See, I, I think I think you did just touch on what it really does come down to, which is, um, however many Marths or Foxes we have in the PM community, they are so overrun by the number of melee players who will just come in and play their Marth or Fox. And remember, I was in the Hamilton community where we had uh, a thriving melee scene that would enter every PM tournament. So it's like, I, I just get used to the sensation of oh, 90% of the foxes in Marth's type play are going to be melee players who don't fundamentally use PM tech. Uh, or, no, whereas... or no PM matchup. <laughs> Ex exactly. And like, well, actually, they, they, they learned it over time. The, the, uh, share with the Hamilton melee community. They, they actually, like, supported our game a fair bit. And, like, uh, they... There were some problems, but, I mean, to be, uh, you know, all in all, it's, they, 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 they were good guys, and I, uh, I do miss that community a bit now that I'm out of it and older. I think, uh, I think that is the biggest thing, though, just, uh, Brad and, uh, and Nick, they they live in Toronto and they don't travel. So it's like, uh, they're just, they were just a fundamentally different PM community than from what the Hamilton scene was. We're like, we imagine not traveling. I'm, well, I mean, again, that's the Toronto community. <laughs> like but why? Toronto is the least traveling community, like by a mile. But why? I, I feel like I'm more likely to see Durham and Ottawa at tournaments than I have to see Toronto. Oh, nice. Yeah, Rat Monster played Mario and then Game and Watch and winners set winners of this matchup. But now Luigi, and there's a big difference. <laughs> that drives and they quit. Yeah, I know. I, it's not a matter of like want, it, but it but it is a matter of like uh, understand like I don't see you. I, like I like until I moved to Toronto, I like would never I, I would never see you guys. Well, that's a so nice it's like that's why. That's why, like, I have a different, like, PM experience from you guys, even though we're, like, quote-unquote the same scene. Um, it's sort of the same way, like, uh, like Pith has, like... I'm Pith plays 90% melee players, because, like, that's what the North is like. Um, I don't know. It's it's it's, ha it's awkward that, like, Ontario is so large, so we have, like, a lot of different sub-communities. All I'm saying is, Marth bad, all PM Marths are bad. That's all I'm saying. I don't see what's controversial. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, more PS2. Yeah. You see, I do like this stage. I just don't like seeing it games and games and games in a yeah, row, you, you know? You, you don't want it looped. I mean, I, I get it. I I like seeing the variety, you know? Yeah, I understand. I, I get why people like it, though, as, like, a relatively neutral stage that, like, just... Um... People can just go back to without too much worry. Also, I gotta update that score, baby. Um, oops, there we go. Um, but uh, grab release. Yeah, I, yep, think, I kind of, I kind of like the cute uh, grab release play that he's been doing. He's uh, he's gotten quite a lot of it. I guess it's because like the way Marth travels horizontally is like restricted to like relatively few tools. So like even like a. A small ability to like push him off stage horizontally, like, could actually be really impactful. I think I think that kind of thing happens with uh, Sonic and Link as well, where like the horizontal distance of their uppies are actually pretty limited. So it's like they're often put in situations where they only have one recovery tool, and you can just call it out. Although at least Link has tether to 
be his saving grace. Use that cancel button. Use that cancel button. Another hard call out. Oh. Oh, okay. Slife. I was like, that's unfortunate. Oh, what? Snuck by the down air somehow. What the heck? Wow. He is sliding around. Yeah, oh, was... really going hard on these calls. The thing is that he has nothing to lose because, like, again, even losing that stock, he got a fair bit of damage, and if he managed to get another kill there, that would have changed, like, the situation entirely going up. Ooh. What the? It would have been up 4 1. <gasps> in that game. Oh, nice okay, there. that unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, good awareness from Zoe. Like, you have to. That's exactly what I wasn't seeing from Chocolate Oven, and I think it's what uh, ultimately lost him the set because. Uh, he just wasn't willing to get off ledge and punish Rat Monster enough. Especially as DDD, like, how's DDD... is not going to get reversal as hard as other characters. Usually. Yeah. Yeah, there's the nerf. I think that, like, Zoe really wants to create this wall, but it's awkward and it's hard. And the thing is, even, like, being down, like, one one strong nair would kill, let alone, like, a fair or a up air. Uh, I feel like that wasn't true. It wasn't, but Zoe was kind of probably scared to, like, enter a juggle situation. Might have just wanted to hold the jump. Yeah. The thing is, is that Martha doesn't have enough, like, horizontal mobility to, like, if you just don't jump... A lot of the times you're just kind of stuck in their in their mix-up. You kind of have to either put up at a hitbox or jump, or maybe side B, like something to like change your momentum, or put out a hitbox. Um, whereas like characters like Lucas or just like Earth Kids in general uh, can drift out of a lot of scenarios, or like he can make all of his down uh, B. air dodge there. Nice job. This actually could be a kill there. Alright, really kind of anyone's game. Needs to find some way to get this kill. The thing is, like, it's not a great situation for Marth. I don't think he's got a lot of uh, kill moves that, like, Zoe can actually make use of in this scenario. But, oh! Whoa. Super cheeky. Just get to ledge. You're good. Nice job. Wow. I really liked how that went. And, uh, as long as Rat Monster wins a game, it's going to be PS2 again. Yes. Uh, uh, at least the music keeps going. Yeah. Nice. Uh, to, to be honest, I have the music off because of uh, Parsec. I just don't like the audio cutting in and out as we talk. Um, and why am I able to hear it? Uh, it, it I don't know. It, I find that there's quality drops. It's just like annoying. Cause no, I said, why am I able to hear it? Oh, I just turned it off myself. Oh, oh okay. What the... <laughs> is she doing? <laughs> Yeah, even now, like, I don't feel like Rat Monster should be this confident in these hard callouts, but, like, it seems to be, like, fundamental to how they play. I don't think that there's an online uh, element of, of, of how they play. I think that just seems to be... He's probably just getting away with it. Well, yeah, I mean, like, it's up to his opponent to punish it, but, like, Zoe is punishing it, and he's still doing it. So it's, like, that's what makes me say it's fundamental to his play, not just... Like an online only special or anything. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was a crazy combo. God, and that was sick. Do you see how he made use of his uh, sliding momentum to just fall off stage there? Hit him with the EMS PC drops, whatever we call them. Ouija looks so funny sliding around like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that didn't jabber said. Interesting. No, it picked him up. Uh, maybe just an F there. Oh, just another jab grab release? Wow, okay. I guess the point is, is just you force 
you force Marth to burn a jump, and then um, even if you don't get the kill, it's still like, all right, well, Marth's out of resources now. So it's like the situation's bad regardless. And you could probably convert it into damage. So yeah. much of what Luigi does just becomes safe on shield because he slides so far. Yeah, I mean, like, Marth should be able to get some okay. nice, uh, ferret of shields, but... Okay, nice! Wow. Wow, I, yeah, I'm really shocked that that converted, but, uh, sure. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, Luigi is frustrating to play against. It's watching, like, how much space he can control with that wave dash. Like, you really need a good lasting hitbox if you want to be able to cover it safely. Oh, ho, ho, that, is that is... Definitely a hard call out. That is the reset. <laughs> reset to PS2. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a like game reset, uh, like that. You know where it's a bracket, it's a grand finals bracket reset, and they just reset to the same stage. Yeah, this. Because <laughs> normally it's like okay, we're on a counter pick, we have to go back and whatever. But nope. Game to just watch of this, just this, Luigi Marth. Luigi sliding around on PS2. Oh, good spacing. Okay, was that an air off the top? It's an air out there. It's probably an air. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in that very brief flash of the time we got to see it. Uh, you do have a little bit of audio uh, bleed. Um, I don't know if there's anything you could do, but uh, the audience is getting a little bit of TV in the background. Um, but I will say, it does seem like like Zoe was doing this in the, like the last game as well, though. Like she was managing to create this wall, but it seemed like Rat Monster's ability to do these hard color reads was like really good at um, closing out stocks in a way that. So we had to win so many interactions. Yeah, and... he's getting a lot more off of each opening, I think, each punish. Yeah, and once again, not really punishing that uh, that side B misfire. Like, he's stuck in it for a while. It's like getting hit by a, a Wario side B on shield. It's like, you need to wave dash forward and punish it somehow, but... Um... Did he really just try to reversal with an up B while being edge guarded? Yeah, and... This guy's crazy. Nice, I'll kill. Really? 138 on PS2 and that and Barth up tilt didn't kill. Yeah, unfortunately Marth down tilt not actually able to uh, hit Luigi's side B. I think if he sweet spots. However, I, I'm a little surprised that we haven't seen Zoe going for more um, invincible back airs. That seems to be like something that's like really important in matchups like this. Yeah. Might just not be something that she's, uh... She might not be comfortable in her invincibility, and might just be... 173. Again. Yeah, and again, she's dropping shield into an F-Smash, like... No, uh... I mean, to be honest, I just jump over, guess we've bought fair, it'll probably take him off the top at 173. Side steps. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't find it that Luigi can't be comboed. I find that there are certain characters that really struggle to combo him. And I, I do see that as Marth. Like, those fairs are just like. Yeah, fair you're more one, supposed two. to juggle them, you know? Yeah, one fair, one, two, three, and what then the? it's like. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not Wait, isn't it one, one, one? Isn't it one, one? Yeah, no, one, we reset. Oh. We, we, it was 3-0. Hey, and now it's, it's, it's not PS2. Yes, that's how you know that uh, that's the first game that Zoe won. <laughs> you know what's wacky is uh, if he wants, she can't go back to PS2 now. <laughs> Although I have a good suspicion that Zoe would ask, hey, can we go back to PS2? Gamecube kind of kid myself. Yeah, is that how you see it? 
<laughs> I do know that the Luigi's seem to like this stage. And yeah, Metal I think Cavern. It, well, because you, the, the, when you have the big platform, you can make good use of like voodoo dashing and the like, um, and just it it really relevant for like giving Luigi a lot of mobility. Nice job Whoa. with that Dacus. Really clean. Was that a Dacus? It wasn't a run-up up smash? I thought it was a Dacus, but uh, either way, the point is there's lots of mobility into the up smash. Uh, now you're making me second guess myself. It was an up smash. That's all I care about. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, no, I... The thing is, is that even though this is good for voodoo dashing, I like I do think that um, Marth should be able to cover those platforms pretty well. Like just like sit below him, toss out an up tilt on reaction to his roll, like reset the juggle situation. That's right. That's he also not... has those ledge cancels for recovery. That's true. That does matter. Um, oh, okay. All right. Bit of a goofy way for it to happen, but it happened. What frame is Luigi up the strong hit? Do you know? Fast, but um, I don't know. Uh, you want me to toss another guess into the ether? I would say six. Although I feel like it that sounds wacky, but that, that I, I'm pretty sure it's a wacky move. Five is the response from the audience. All right, all right. I'm pretty good on my guesses tonight. I'm double checking it right now. Tell me it was nerfed by a frame in uh, the strong Blood. hit. <laughs> the strong hit is frames five and six. Five and six. Interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. See, we're both right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of us was more right, to be fair, but yeah. <laughs> um, and yes, but that's probably the same as as uh, Super Six. Then uh, I don't know if the strength of it got changed though. Um. To be honest, uh, the way Mangachu played, he didn't actually use up B like excessively. He would like more like combo into off stage situations than like go for like edge guards. Um, which is interesting because his Wario played very a lot more read based. Um, I'm always right except when I'm not. Cost I miss Mangachu. Oh. Nice job. All right. And you know, now, just... a counter a counter in that situation would actually be good. Just as you prophesized, 1-1. One, one. I actually don't know if it would be, because Counter has startup, so it might have still uh, eaten it. I don't know how much startup... Uh, no, Counter has is a... frame... Uh, what was it? Frame 5? Let me check five? that, too. Okay, so it's an error. It's like it, it's functionally what it is. It's a bad error in that case. Yeah, but it covers your whole body. And yeah. is active for a while. That's true, but you don't do anything if you hit it. Like that's if you have no. Uh, that's if you have no jump though. You could just jump over the misfire. Like that was more referring. Ooh, referring to yeah. Okay, wow, Zoe really putting out a lot of lost soft hits with those side bees. Yeah, it's frame five. Is it same for Iker. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know I'm uh, not. I'm pretty too... sure. I'm pretty sure the difference isn't how fast it comes out. It's uh, how many frames it's at, it it can counter for. Oh, okay. And also the value of it. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like Marth is just set knockback seven percent. Yeah. Kind of not ideal. Roy's for. Oh, ah. No. Come on, you don't want the grand. Roy's for some reason. You don't want to see that anytime. No. Roy's but... for some reason. If you. Activate an aerial counter, it sends him into fast fall. Really? Yeah, so that... like countering off stage is actually not a good idea because you'll just die if you do it don't do it high enough. I'm assuming that's only if you're um if you're currently falling, it won't like yeah, it doesn't reset momentum. If you're, if you're in the yeah, if you're in No, it does actually. If you're if you counter oh. something, you'll just start falling. Oh, okay. Yeah. The oh. pony got popped off screen. Oh, oh, if you successfully counter something. Yes, yeah. if you successfully counter something. I, I follow, I follow, I follow, yeah, yeah. That's it'll force a... you to fast fall. It doesn't do that for Ike and Marth. No, that's interesting. I had no concept about this. And Roy already falls faster than them, so, like, if you do it too low, you just die. That's true, but it probably makes it more valuable for jungle situations that you can, like, race to the ground. Because um, it covers, like, it automatically yeah. will do what you want it to. 
It's also uh, the counter is active for the f least frames of the three. <laughs> okay, well, despite the SD, Rat Monster is taking the lead again. The strongest counter, I think so. It, yeah. Roy's, Roy's is the strongest counter. Um, it has the most scaling. Ike's the second because it also has scaling, but Mars doesn't have scaling. Literally doesn't have scaling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's hey, there's better, and it's still better than Peach's. <laughs> Hey, listen, remember, there's one more counter in the game. Don't forget about that one. It's still better than Peach's. No, one more other counter other than that one is what I'm saying. You'll have to remind me because I don't remember. Link's bomb. If that's a counter, then Snake's Grenade is a counter, and it's actually, like, the best counter in the game. Snake's Grenade doesn't change strength based on what hit it. What? <laughs> Link's bombs do that. The move that destroys them determines how much damage it does. What? Yes, we've. I've discussed this with so many people. It's, I don't know why it's a mechanic, but it is. So if you do a uh, if you do a link recovery, you should use the weakest move that is sure to destroy it. Uh, which what is if why you up, need? What if you need to go far though? It no, it doesn't change knockback. It only changes the damage number. Okay, well, the, uh, higher damage actually does affect the amount of knockback you I, take. I know it's it. Part I know the... it. I know it does. It does not for this. I don't know exactly what? how it works or why, but it, it does not <laughs> it does not seem to. Uh, if it does, it does it by such a small margin that like it's not noticeable. Oh my gosh, he just he extended that combo by fireballing in the it, like point blank. It's crazy. That was good. Waited to the right time to grab ledge. Maybe the up B is the best counter. You're right. Yeah. Uh, bomb has set knockback. No, it doesn't have set knockback. And no, no, no. It's not that Link's bomb has set knockback. It's that um, the the move that you just so so so. Let, if I destroy Link's bomb with his up air, it will deal less damage to him than if I destroyed it with his down air. But the distance it sends him is the same regardless of which move I destroy it with. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's a mechanic. It's just like something that like exists in the game. I think it has to do with the fact that like items like Link's Bomb uh, deal damage, I think, based on momentum. So it's like similar to how there's this like- This game is crazy. There's I variable love this damage. Game. Yeah, there's just like variable- yeah, like, There's so many weird specific things. I love this game. Yeah, it's like one of those things that like nobody really notices unless they like play Link and want to like dig into the frame data. But it's, it's a thing. <laughs> It's a weird thing that exists. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Drop yeah, we're actually here. really nice job uh, edge guarding from uh, from Luigi right now. <laughs> and items yeah i don't know why links in the game <laughs> and link snake and peach don't forget diddy although that might be a feature more than a bug interesting not going for the true punish and trying to like beat a rule ban ice climbers Nana's an item, right? And Nana's an item? Is that how you see it? <laughs> well, actually, Nana's a computer, I and mean, we don't play with computers, do we? We value human skill. Depending on your point of view, uh, waddles are an extremely unique item. <laughs> They're an article according to the game. Okay, but whatever, like, aren't on, items also fact, articles? No, there's actually a difference. Um, so, like, for example, Mario Fireball is just an article attached to the character, but Diddy Kong Banana is a separate item that's not actually uh, the regular banana spawned in the game by items. Yeah, yeah. That's why it has a, a smaller despawn time. Uh, okay. Uh, and so are things like uh, Snake's Grenades and Link's Bombs, actually. So Link's Bombs do count. But, uh, like, Diddy Kong's there... peanut, I'm pretty sure, is not. So, his peanut's not, but his, uh, oh, banana oh, his is. Oh, okay, see, I was, I see that, that, that's why I was, because I was like, yeah, Mario's fireball is, like, fundamentally different. But, yeah, peanut, 
that's a holdable item, but it's but it's an article. Is what you're saying? Yeah. It's categorized differently. Uh, also, uh, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, I'd have to. I mean, I'd have to go double check uh, to be a hundred percent certain. We might be approaching. I mean, either way, we are. But well, uh, like, Rob's well, we jacko isn't considered an item. Yes. Yeah. yeah but uh, before that, we might be approaching the end of our uh, tournament a little bit soon. Oh yeah. Uh, regardless of what happens here, uh, we are either. Uh, we are definitely in the last two games. Uh, finally seeing that the time. throws, yeah. I, I think like that was that actually a mix-up, mix too. Uh, the DI Zoe had was for a grab release, so... Like, to hold up for when you yeah. get out of the... Oh. Interesting. Nair trying to catch the action out of shield. Oh, just bear. Put okay. a drop-off back air there. Nice job, for Zoe. That... Barely made oh, there's drop. the back air that we were talking about. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't see uh, it till now. <laughs> that's why we didn't see it till now. That's why we didn't that's... see it. I mean, to be fair, she died to the, her down air uh, in that situation, but... Unfortunate. <laughs> well, that is the bigger ALC. Jeez. We kind of... This definitely turned more easy listening the later, the later we went in bracket. Uh, well, but... I talked about Luigi Marth for like three long games, and then I started running out of things to say <laughs> and getting distracted. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everybody for uh, for coming out, for watching, for playing, for uh, whatever you do. If you watch it later, thank you for that as well. Uh, Chadrick, thank you for joining me on the mic. This is the first time. Anything? Do you want to shout out uh, before we wrap it up? Shout out to Titanium for running the stream, starting up the event. Let's Thank go. You. And uh, offline coming back, running an event next Saturday. Yeah, anyone who is watching and in Ontario and has their first vaccination, I will say, get the, if you haven't gotten the shot, if you come to my tournament and tell me you're an anti-vaxxer, ooh, we're going to have some words. But if you have your first shot, and you're interested in getting your second, you should send me a message and you can come out next Saturday to our, uh, at least my first local I will be attending. Masked up, outdoors, but under a roof in case it rains. Uh, Shad, you're getting a lot of bleed, so I think we will wrap things up before it uh, progresses. <laughs> I kept muting my mic <laughs> every time I wasn't talking. I was yes, like... I could tell because there's a slight chunk when you do it, but <laughs> there is it picks it up what i only caught it sometimes but yeah i did pick it up sometimes i could tell like that's what you started doing as well because like uh but doesn't matter we appreciate it and we appreciate all of you <laughs> and thank you to the competitors and nice job to rap monster i think this is his first time winning a bigger alc i don't know if he's won one before but i know he's i think he lost to blitz if i want to say last time he competed either way Thank you for coming out. 